So I gave in and bought a film camera. As you've probably noticed, film seems to be on the rise again. And it may seem strange to some people. Why, when I have a nearly $5,000 camera with all the modern features and amazing autofocus, would I go back to shooting with a manual lens on a 1975 camera? Well, for one, I mean, look at how cool this thing looks. And listen to that shutter sound. Ooh, that's so satisfying. To be honest, at first I thought it would just be a cool thing to have. It would look dope in photos and it would look super sweet in the backdrop of these videos. But after shooting through a couple rolls of film, I totally understand why people have started or are still shooting with film. One thing that I noticed straight away when I went out with this film camera is how intentional shooting film makes you as a photographer. With my Sony, I essentially have no limit to the amount of photos that I can take. What this results in usually is me just spraying and praying rather than intentionally setting up, composing, and thinking about the shot before I press the shutter. Having only 36 shots on a roll of film means that every shot needs to count, especially with film prices being what they are right now. This lends to you thinking a lot more about the shot before you take it. Am I using the correct camera settings? Is everything in focus? Can I compose this shot a little better? Things that you take for granted when you're shooting with a digital camera, you need to think about a lot more when you're shooting with film. There's also just something about the look of a film shot that's just so satisfying to look at. Maybe it's the nostalgia of growing up in the 90s, but the aesthetic of a film shot is just so appealing to me. It's a breath of fresh air, to be honest, which is strange when you consider how old this is, but it just takes me out of the normal flow of shooting on my digital camera. Because I have no experience with film prior to this camera, this kind of feels like learning photography all over again, which is pretty exciting. I think it's a good way to keep photography fresh and exciting because now I just have so many new things to learn and so many different film stocks that I can try. I'm sure you guys are probably wondering about the camera and the film stocks that I've chose to go with. This is the Canon TX, which was considered an entry-level beginner SLR camera. There is no self-timer, the shutter speed only goes up to 1 over 500, and the lens that is on there is a manual focus 50mm 1.8 lens. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $90, which I thought was super cool, because at this price point, basically anyone can get started with film photography. But, and this is kind of a big but, and one thing I didn't realize when I bought the camera, Film is super expensive these days. This roll of Portra 800 cost me $30, and in my area, it costs almost the same amount to develop it. I know there are other film stocks that are cheaper than this, like Kodak Gold 200, but as this is something new to me, I definitely want to try a bunch of different film stocks and kind of see what the differences are between them. But yes, I know, in the long run, it's probably better to go with a cheaper film like Kodak Gold. Because of the price of film photography, I think it's fair to say that the majority of my photos will still be taken with my Sony. That being said, I'm gonna use the film camera to spice things up and when I feel like whatever it is that I'm shooting will look cool on film. Regardless though, I'm super pumped to experiment with film and to share all the things that I learn on the way with you guys. That being said, if there's anything that you guys wanna see specifically when it comes to film photography, let me know in the comments below. That's it for this video. Keep shooting and I'll see you guys in the next one.